Hello, everybody. This is the Sofa King, and this man baby loves getting rides from a polar bear. You guys hear this? Ah, seltzer. Now, one of the th newest things that I've been trying recently as an adult is seltzer water. And I gotta say, I'm really hooked on this stuff. I remember when I was in my high school years and where I worked at Wendy's, I would always drink so much soda. Man, that was not good for me. And I was it was never really good for my health either. And even after I quit working out at Wendy's, like in my college years, when I first tried seltzer, I was never really a fan because to my mind, it just tasted like just bitter water. So I could never get into it. But today, I am hooked on the stuff. And one of my favorite brands is Bubbly, actually. And I know a lot of people are not big fans of the Bubbly Seltzer. And I can totally understand it's made by Pepsi, one of the giant soda brands. So there might be some distrust. And I know some people says it tastes funny and not true seltzer. But unfortunately for me, for right now, where I go grocery shopping, which is Walmart, that is the main seltzer brand that they sell. So currently, I have to drink that for right now. Um, some of my favorite flavors as of the moment is the pineapple and the lemon bubbly seltzer. Those are currently my favorite flavors. I know that the peach seltzer from bubbly is kind of trash. Was not a giant fan of that flavor. And I know that there's other brands out there that people love more than bubbly. Like there's polar seltzer and there's vintage seltzer. And then there's new version called Spindrift, which is not pure seltzer it's actually a version of seltzer that has some fruit juice in it which is actually really interesting i'm hoping that when walmart goes and stocks some of it that i could give it a try i'm definitely glad that uh as more of an adult that i am right now that i've stopped drinking soda because you gotta understand that soda has a ton of sugar and I can't really go back to drinking soda really anymore, you know. And if I have to order like a combo or something at a fast food restaurant, I'm honestly going to go try to get like either maybe ice cream or some kind of lemonade or some tea because I can't handle that stuff anymore. There's so much sugar packed into it. I'm honestly shocked that it's not regulated in a way where there's less sugar. Because it's ridiculous how much sugar is in just some Coke. Coke is like terrible for your health. And I can't stand that stuff anymore. Now I will say where I started to think differently about seltzer is when I started to watch a YouTube channel called Secular Talk. I'll have a link to his channel below in the description. Uh, when I first started watching his channel... He kept talking about seltzer. And that kind of made me think, you know, maybe maybe I should give seltzer another chance. And I can understand that him being called the big seltzer sellout is such a funny meme. But I could understand where he's coming from when he talks about how much he loves the stuff. Both Kyle Kalinske and Review Tech USA. Because, man, especially Review Tech USA... He goes through a whole case of seltzer in one stream, which honestly surprises me because I can only really drink one seltzer a day. I couldn't imagine drinking a whole case through one stream. But hey, man, I mean, if he enjoys it, he enjoys it. And now I've started to notice in supermarkets that there's this new thing called hard seltzer. I know Bud Light sells a version of hard seltzer and the most popular version of hard seltzer out there on the market right now is called White Claw, which I've actually tried one time. I believe I tried the grapefruit flavor, and I'm personally not a giant alcohol drinker, but I can't really taste the alcohol in the seltzer I drank, you know? It actually wasn't too bad, but again, just thinking in my brain, I'm just thinking, I don't really need to drink this because I can just drink regular seltzer without the alcohol. Because just personally for me, I'm just not a giant alcohol drinker. 
So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed listening to this discussion. Let me know down in the description what kind of salsa brands and what kind of salsa flavors you guys like to drink. This is, once again, the Sofa King finishing off this video. If you enjoyed this topic, please hit the like button, subscribe, and ding dong that bell. And I will see you in the next video. Have a nice day.